great, but the rhythm guitar could be more loud. Okay, one dB. Another one dB. Good. Okay, then so let's draw some automation. So I think the, that uh, kick sound is too apparent and too much for me. Then so I'm going to draw that uh, automation. So where was that? Here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to turn down this area and then I'm going to kick drum section here. Then so I'm going to turn down this area okay around 3 db okay let's check that sound in the context i think minus 3 db has the most kind of really bassy sound also attacky sound at the same time but it's not apparent too apparent so then i'm going to right minus 3 db automation so this is 0 db this is minus 3 db and like this awesome then so another uh, kick drum fast part is here okay one two three four five six. okay so this area could can be minus 3 dB again, so then I'm going to copy this automation and paste. Then sounds like this. <laughs> Not that here. Here. Okay, so in this section, I think minus 5 dB is gonna be good, I guess. No, it's too thin. Minus four. Yeah, minus three is the most well balanced. Mm, yeah, volume, I guess. Okay, so let's listen to the sound in the context again. Then, so let's uh, find out uh, some weird uh, tracks uh, to draw automation. Arpeggio should be louder, I guess. For example, now 0 dB, 2 to 3 dB, I guess. I think this do 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 this arpeggio should be a little bit louder. For example, this area. Okay, so then I'm going to use a uh, blue cat's gain three, and then I'm going to turn up the three dB. Then I'm going to turn down the fader to zero dB. Okay, so reason why I use this trim plugin on this track is that I want to send the faders at 0 dB as much as possible because I cannot remember that so previously the fader was uh, blah blah dB sent then so I have to turn up oh it's so annoying then but if I set the fader at 0 dB I don't have to remember the volume of the fader then so from 0 dB I can turn up uh, x dB or my turn down x dB or blah 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 it's really easy to think about so then I always set this type of train flagging on the tracks to write automation, volume automation. Okay, then so this dun 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 is a little bit quieter for me. Okay, let's listen to the sound again. Okay, from here to here. to draw 4db no 
3D V automation on this section. Then okay, let's check the sound in the context. Sounds real, so then I'm going to set this uh, zero dB automation here to make it sound natural. Okay, here. Awesome, it sounds natural, and also at the same time, I can hear the doom 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 sound. Yeah, it's great. Okay, then now. Let's listen to the sound again. I think that first section it sounds a little bit loud, so then I'm going to turn down the arpeggio mm, what, 2 dB. Okay, then so I think the mix is a little bit mm, ear piercing. Then so I'm going to use M equalizer to attenuate that ear piercing frequency. So then I'm going to deactivate these wrench and then so I'm going to turn up down. Yes, around here sounds like this. <laughs> So this wrench. Okay, so I'm going to turn down here. But at the same time, that sound is gonna be a little muddy. So then I'm going to compensate that sound by using high shelf EQ. Then around here. Sounds like this. So now it sounds very crisp, but it's not ear piercing. Okay, so if I set turn it off, not clear, but it sounds clear. Okay. Awesome. Then let's move on to low end. A uh, wrench uh, which I we can of uh, humanities can hear is that basically from 20 hertz to 20k hertz. Basically, so 21 hertz is basically inaudible, but bass has tons of energy. So then I'm going to cut this wrench, it's which is all inaudible, but so this is really uh, effective to a uh, compressor or uh, other uh, limiter to reduce the energy of the low end. Okay, like this. Yeah, difference is zero for me. Yeah, there's no difference for me, but so audio wise, it's really effective to limiter or compression or etc. Okay, so that's all. Okay, let's listen to the sound. Mm, I think snare is a little bit too pokey. Then so I'm going to turn down the threshold of the shell bus a little. Yeah, so it's a minus 1 to minus 1.5 dB, so I'm going to turn down the threshold a little, minus 1 dB or something like that. Awesome. Then, so I'm going to use the same uh, compressor or master bus. The reason why is that to uh, make the mix glued together. So, but I don't wanna uh, make it kind of or pump. I don't want kind of pumping effect on this 
mix, so then I'm going to use it a little. Are too loud for me, then I'm going to turn down a little. Minus 3 dB, okay, like this. Around minus 5 dB. Mm, minus 4, it's kind of too sound, too thin. Mm, minus 3 is kind of uh, well balanced for me. Kick is too clicky for me, then I'm going to turn down this wrench. Okay, great. So then, so this compressor uh, is a really kind of difference is really tiny for me. Then, but so, yeah, but it does a really effective role for me. So, yeah, kind of uh, drums and guitars are grouped together by using this compressor. Then, then so I like it. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I think it sounds really great and then I'm happy with this sound. But, so when I'm mixing, I often get fooled with uh, this sound or get kind of used to this sound. So then I want to refresh my ears and brain. So then I'm going to check this sound tomorrow. Hi, good morning, guys. Okay, then let's check the mix again. Okay, sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so I found some problems. So first one is that the mix sounds creeping, at least for me. So the reason why is that the now true peak is 0.9 dB. So then I'm going to uh, turn down the output of this uh, limiter. Uh, then so turn down to minus 1 dB. Then so I'm going to uh, aim the true peak around minus 0.3 dB. Okay, then let's check the sound out again. Okay, again. Okay, so now it true peak is minus 0.6 dB, but it's not loud enough for me. Then so I'm going to turn down the threshold around 
Okay, now the integrated LUFS is minus 8.4 dB. Then I'm going to aim around minus 6.5 LUFS. Then so I'm going to turn down uh, this threshold uh, minus to minus 12 dB. So minus 12 around like this. Okay, then it's gonna be really loud. Be careful on something like this. Okay, so I tried minus 11 dB uh, all as well, but so I think minus 12 dB is the most l kind of really well balanced and also kind of really loud. I'm going to set the threshold at minus 12 dB, but still I hear some creeping sound. Then so I'm going to change the uh, the value of this tube. So now it's 15. Then I'm going to turn down a little to. Uh, turn down the creeping sound. Okay, it sounds like this. Okay, now the mix doesn't creep, at least for me, I think. And also, the triplic is now minus 0 0.8 dB. It's not minus 0 0.3, but it doesn't creep. Now it's under 0 dB, so then it, which means that it doesn't creep. So then I think, yeah, it's not minus 0 0.3 dB, but I don't care. Yeah. And also, another problem I hear is that low bass is a really loud. I think. I should have turned down a little. Okay, so then let's listen to the song again. This I'm going to turn down this low bass. Okay, sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so I turn down uh, this low bass uh, are around minus 2 dB. So, okay, so let's check the before and after. So I'm going to use uh, Blue Cat's Gain 3 again. So I'm going to set it minus 2 dB. So if I turn on this plugin, the sound is going to be uh, minus 2 dB quieter than the original sound. Then if I turn off, that it's going to be the original sound. Okay, then let's compare them. Sounds like this. I think this is a very really well balanced. So if I turn down uh, this low bass by minus 2 dB, the mix is gonna be a little bit more clear. If I didn't use this minus 2 dB uh, trim plugin, so the mix is it's really okay, but so kind of bass is too intimidating and also too apparent for me. Then so it, I think it shouldn't be this. So I set it minus 2 dB. Okay, then I think the mix is well balanced and then so i think i'm happy with this mix yeah okay that's all so i think this mix really sounds great but at the same time i think it doesn't sound like pro if i could change anything on this mix i would change a guitar amp and drum library and also bass library but as for plugins i uh, yeah there is no problem, I guess. I didn't use any analog emulation plugins such as SSL emulations or Neve emulations or 1176 emulations and so on. Yeah, I didn't use them. But if you really want to use this type of plugins, now we can download them for free. Yeah, there are tons of free emulations out there. So then you can download them. Then you can use 
on your mix. So then, now we are living in really great age. So then it's really interesting. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And then see you next time. Bye-bye.